Atsuko uh, was a woman I met in New York. She sits in a slip mirror in hand, staring at tear stains, plucking her brows. She will slice out two feline lines to feathery arches. Little Takashi, more scared than mad, screams down four angry walls to reach her, someone. But she sits, deaf in America's prison. She dies, slowly thinking of Tokyo, Nagasaki, Kabashima, the friends back home that envy her Art Deco penthouse, blood rubies and cultured pearls dipped in Chanel, the invisible paradise that keeps her regal in poverty's eyes. She talks of the injustices of living in Manhattan. I go nowhere no more. I nod yes. I feel better you hear now, so she will know I hear. The pinched porcelain skin laughs back at her from the glass. She rouges the lips to a puffy leaf, blood on snow. She applies the blue shadow like a Vogue motto caught between the pages of life. This is a poem for Virginia Woolf, A Woman's Room. In Chinese, the, the Chinese pictograph for woman is, um, I wish I could write it, but it looks like a woman holding a broom. Woman, a tortoise with a room, a world on her back. Like, Sis like Sisyphus holding the moon, turning as hair grows white before the riot of seasons. Woman holding a broom, her universe, a room, where follows the sun from floor to ceiling, a room bisected into past and future, a room where the smell of fish mingles with the smell of childbirth, where rice boils over, where clouds of diapers hang in white flags, flags of surrender, where television promises deliverance from freckles, corns, aging spots, outside the metal clang of scavengers scraped dawn, outside the assertion of sun's light, the buzz of an alarm activates the switch in her brain, and woman rises, descending the stairs. <laughs>